Hey everyone, I'm Marsha, and in today's video, we are making three of my favorite smoothie recipes. So I love these recipes, number one, because they're quick and easy to make, and number two, because they taste amazing. So I did a poll not too long ago on my Instagram stories asking you guys what type of video you wanted to see next on my channel, and the majority of you said some type of smoothie recipe. So today I have three different smoothie recipes for you and I hope you enjoy them. If you have any questions at all that I don't answer in the video, feel free to drop them down below. And while you're there, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you'll never miss when I upload a video. All right, without further ado, let's start making some smoothies. All right, so the first smoothie we're gonna make is a tropical green smoothie. And this particular smoothie is inspired by JJ Smith 10 Day Green Smoothie Cleanse book. Um, I talk about that all the time, but it is where I got this recipe from. And sometimes I just kind of alter the measurements based off of how much I want to make. So I'm just making one serving size today for you guys. So I just got a handful of spinach, about one cup full of spinach. Then I'm going to add a cup of water and I'm going to blend both of these up first. That is one of my tips that I share on my smoothie tip videos. So if you haven't checked those out, you can certainly do that as well after you watch this video. But blending your greens with your liquid first, if you are making a green smoothie, is very important. All right, so to this mixture, I am going to add the rest of my ingredients, which are all frozen. So I'm going to add a half a cup of frozen pineapple. I'm adding a cup of frozen peaches. And then I'm going to add a half of a frozen banana. Now I'm gonna add just a little bit of honey and I do not measure my honey. <laughs> So I just kind of eyeball it just a little bit though because you don't want it to be overly sweet. It's still supposed to be healthy. Now I'm adding a half a tablespoon of ground flax seeds. And this is what your ground flax seeds should look like. It might not say milled, it might say ground, but make sure you're getting some type of ground flax seeds and not the whole flax seeds. And there you go, my friends, a tropical green smoothie. This one is so good. If you are new to drinking green smoothies, I highly suggest that you start off with this one because this one will make you fall in love with green smoothies. All right, so the next smoothie we're going to make is a mixed berry smoothie. All right, so to my blender, I'm going to add some vanilla almond milk, and I like to use the sweetened version. I know a lot of people use unsweetened almond milk whatever your preference is. All right, so I got my almond milk in there, and then I'm going to add some mixed berries, and I like to get this particular kind from the store. It includes strawberries, raspberries, and blackberries, but different mixed berry packages will include a variety of mixed berries, so if yours isn't just like this, totally fine. Fun fact, berries are extremely high in antioxidants, so if you're curious about the health benefits of berries, I suggest you look it up because there are a lot of them. <laughs> All right, so I'm adding about a cup and a half of mixed berries. All right, and then I'm going to add a half of a frozen banana, a little bit of honey. Again, just eyeball it, don't go overboard. And again, some ground flax seeds. I pretty much add ground flax seeds to all of my smoothies. Sometimes you may need to stop your blender halfway to scrape down the sides. And if you feel like you need to add more liquid, whether that be water or um, milk, do so if you feel you need to. I think I need to on this one just a little bit. I absolutely love the color that the mixed berry smoothie makes. And in case you're wondering, I actually use this recipe for my smoothie bowls as well. I just make sure that I use less 
liquid or use less milk so I can have a thicker consistency. All right, and the next smoothie is what I like to call tropical surprise smoothie. And so it includes about a cup of frozen peaches, a cup of frozen strawberries, and then a half a cup of frozen mango. For our liquid, we're gonna be using almond milk again. So I have sweetened vanilla almond milk. Just a touch of honey, not much, and my ground flax seeds. All right, let's blend this up and you can see what this one looks like. And if you don't happen to have any bananas on hand, this recipe is perfect for you because it doesn't include any bananas. And some people just don't like bananas, but I do highly recommend bananas if you would like to make your smoothie thicker and just sweeter. But for this recipe, you don't need it. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, this one tastes so good. It almost tastes like a some type of tropical sherbet or, you know, just a thick smoothie, but I don't know, kind of gives you like an ice creamy taste. It's just so good. So I hope you try this one out as well. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, these are three of my favorite smoothie recipes. I have a ton of smoothie videos on my channel, so I'll link a few down below in the description box in case you wanna watch any more or see any more tips that I have for making smoothies. Again, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, and I post videos every week on my channel. So, until next week, I'll see you later.